Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. IRS and Treasury issue final regulations on e-file for businesses. Final regulations. I don't buy it. With the government and regulations, nothing's ever final. They love regulate. You give them half a chance, they're going to increase the regulations. I mean, you know it's true. Just look at that COVID thing. Remember the COVID thing where they're like, don't worry. Just 15 days to slow the spread. And that's all we need. And then it's like five seconds later, you know, five seconds later, they come back and they're like, okay, we just need to like social distance for like 60 days and that's it. And then they come back again and you're like the goal, the goal of these people. And they're like, last one, I swear you can trust us. All we need is for all small businesses to just shut down. You know, that's all we need. We just need to shut down the businesses. And then they, and then they come back again. And they're like, this is it. This is the final regulation. I'm for serious this time. I'm for serious. You can trust us. We just need to mask the children. You know, that's it. We just need to mask the children. Like forever. That's all we need to do. And then they come back again. And, and they're like, you know, I hate to do this. I hate to do I hate controlling people like this. You can see it in my eyes. But that's what I was born to do. It's like my, I was here to rule by, by, by government mandate here. So in any case... We learned this one from TikTok and one of our top department of energy officials who always has these great ideas. And this one, everyone just needs to like take your dog's muzzle, modify it so it fits on your face, and then only use the restroom when escorted by government approved potty experts who will yank your choke chain if you miss the can or if there's like too much splash or something because you didn't aim, you know, for the side of the bowl. In fact... To avoid forcing government approved potty experts from strangling you by choke chain, it's recommended you just sit down. What? No, that's not another rule. The sitting down thing isn't another rule. It, 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 that's just like an addendum to the last rule. The last one was the last rule. This is just like a little modification. Anyways, why are you even whining about it? It's for your own safety for crying out loud. It's like, what? Did, do you want to be strangled to death by choke chain? It's a final regular talk about a slippery slope letting the government add regulations is way more hazardous than those gateway drugs the dare program used to warn us about in high school I'll tell you what yeah we we need some kind of school intervention program warning about government overreach or something like that wait a second I, I thought that used to be like history class or like when they used to teach about the US Constitution and stuff but wait a second, the government would never lie about an emergency. Just look at honest Joe Biden as he struts outside in Ukraine. <laughs> Holy crap, take cover, Mr. President. Those were air raid sirens. Wow, look how calm he is. If I was under immediate threat of being bombed, my sissy ass would be looking to put a helmet on and die for cover or something. But Mr. President doesn't even check the skies for bombs or anything. Like if the bombs did come, they'd probably just bounce off his chest like he was Superman. All of your diseases are in perfect balance. Here's the door to your body, you see? And these are oversized novelty germs. Here's what happens when they all try to get through the door at once. So what you're saying is, I'm indestructible. Oh, no, no. And in, in fact, even a slight breeze could... Indestructible. Unless, unless possibly he's just lying about the state of the emergency. Possibly staging the entire attack siren warning thing. I mean, didn't the administration admit they told Russia that President Biden was visiting Ukraine so they shouldn't bomb it? And the sirens went off right as he was walking outside with a perfect camera angle. Like, I'm, I'm starting to think the only danger he was in was from having a heart attack from the staged and timed siren going off thing. God, that's loud. My air canals are very sensitive. Look at this. Huh? The hell you say? Honest Joe Biden would never. We have these to hold down the sound, sir. Oh, good. Thanks. 
IR 2023-31, February 21st, 2023, Washington. The Department of the Treasury and the Internal Revenue Service today issued final regulations amending the rules for filing returns and other documents electronically e-file. These regulations will require certain filers to e-file beginning in 2024. You got the TD-9972. There's a link to that here. Affects filers of partnership returns, corporate income tax return, unrelated business income tax returns, withholding tax returns, certain information returns, restriction statements, disclosure statements, notifications, actual reports, and certain excise tax returns. A lot going on here for those those that will be affected. The final regulations reflect changes made by the Taxpayer First Act, the TFA, to increase e-filing without undue hardship on taxpayers. So obviously they're trying to get the e-filing uh, up and this is an attempt to help with that effort. So specifically, the final regulations reduce the 250 return threshold enacted in prior regulations to generally require electronic filing by filers of 10 or more returns in a calendar year. The final regulations all also create several new regulations to require e-filing of certain returns and other documents not previously required to be e-filed require filers to aggregate almost all information return types covered by the regulations to determine whether a filer meets the 10 return threshold and is required to e-file their information returns. Earlier regulations applied to the 250 return threshold separately to each type of information return covered by the regulations. Eliminate the e-filing exception for income tax returns of corporations that report total assets under $10 million at the end of their taxable year and require partnerships with more than 100 partners to e-file information returns and they require partnerships required to file at least 10 returns of any type during the calendar year to e-file the partnership return. So to help with this process, the IRS created a new free online portal. There's a link to that here last year to help businesses file form 1099 series information returns electronically. So obviously those are the ones you got to send out to like contractors and whatnot. Uh, so electronifying those types of returns. Known as the Information Return Intake System, the IRIS, so the IRIS, the IRIS is watching us. So we want to make, we got we to gotta make sure that we're in the IRIS sp sites here or else they get upset. So this free electronic filing service is secure, accurate, and requires no special software. Though available to any business of any size, IRIS may be especially helpful to any small business that currently sends their 1099 forms on paper to the IRS. So if you're sending paper returns, then you might look into the IRIS system. So in recent years, there has been tremendous growth in the availability of e-file services and the use of e-file across the tax filing spectrum. In 2021, about 82% of all corporate income tax returns were, were e-filed and almost 90% of partnership tax returns were e-filed. Further reducing the volume of paper returns filed frees up staff and resources to further enhance services for taxpayers and improves overall efficiencies while reducing postage, printing, shipping, and storage and their associated costs and burdens. So the IRS receives nearly 4 billion information returns per year and expects to receive nearly 5 billion by 2028. In 2019, the IRS still received nearly 40 million paper information returns, even though approximately 99% of all information returns for that year were e-filed. So the final regulations generally provide hardship waivers for filers that would experience hardship in complying with the e-filing requirements and administration administrative ex exemptions from the e-filing requirements to promote efficiency and efficient tax administration. So there's links to those rules here and there'll be a link to this in the description.